In this video, I'm going to show you the installation mode within the BodyStat QuadScan 4000 unit. Within this installation mode, you have the option of changing the display on the LCD screen. To get into the installation mode, you need to have the unit switched off and when you switch on the unit, hold the up arrow key and hold that down, switch on the unit, keep holding that up arrow key down until you see installation mode. You can lift your finger off the button and the first thing that comes up is your language selection. So you're able to scroll up and down um, at very, to, to change the language to various different uh, European languages. Uh, we'll just keep it to English for now. Uh, once you have chosen your language, just press enter. You now have the option of turning, keeping the body, body composition or hydration uh, values showing. So for example, if you're only interested in hydration values, intra and extracellular water, total body water, for example, and you're not interested in any fat or lean or metabolic rates values, you can actually ch choose to turn off all body composition results. And then it won't ask you to add in your age, your gender, and that kind of thing. Um, and you can press enter. For this instance, I'll, I'll keep that on for now and press enter uh, to scroll to the next screen, which will be the hydration. So you have, again, if you're not interested in any kind of hydration values, you have the option of turning that off. I'll keep that on for now and press enter. The next one will be your gender. So you can have this defaulted to either female or male, depending on your population group. Um, working of sc scroll to, to male, um, you press enter. The next option you have is to actually have that as an input, which means you can customize that at the time of the measurement. So uh, if you, however, if you know that all your tests are going to be male, you can actually have the option of defaulting all tests to male and it won't even ask you um, and at the time of the measurement ask you to key in male um, or you won't have the option to change to female either. So depending on your population group, normally you also have the option to omit this. So um, Normally, we just keep that as an input data. So even though it's defaulted to male, the male gender will be the first one to come up. You still have the option to change that to female um, at the time of the test. Then you have the option of changing the age, uh, the first age that comes up. So for example, if your population group is a little bit older, we can increase that age um, to about 50. Incidentally, the longer you hold the up arrow key or the down arrow key, uh, the faster that change will be through the, through the units. So for example, by selecting 50, um, that will be, 50 years will come up um, during the time of the measurement as your kind of default age. Um, now, when you press input, that allows you to change that age at the time of the measurement. So uh, you can change that higher or lower. Um, just gives you that bit of flexibility at the time of the test. However, if your population group are all 50, you can have the option of defaulting to 50 and it won't even ask you to change the, the, the age. Very rare is that um, situation. And then you have the option of omitting the age completely which also is quite rare, especially if, you, if you're measuring body composition where you need the, these input data. So we'll keep that as input. Um, we'll click on to the next um, parameter, which is height. Uh, we have the option here of changing the units to feet or inches and back to centime centimeters. We'll keep on centimeters for now, clicking through. Likewise, if your population group is a lot taller, um, you can change the default um, height that comes up, click through, and same again, input allows you just the flexibility at the time of the test to change those um, that height. Uh, default will keep that height to that same, um, you know, 174 centimeters, for example, which is very rare, and you can omit height completely. We'll just keep that to input. 
Likewise with height, with weight, we can change that um, to kilo, kilograms, stones, pounds, or pounds. We'll keep it to kilograms for now. And we'll click through and we can change, for example, if you're, if you're measuring children, your, your weight is a lot um, less than 65. And rather than scrolling down to, for example, 40 kilograms per test, um, it just takes a bit of time. We can actually keep, we can actually default that weight to show up as at 40 kilo, kilograms um, every time you do the measurement. Just saves time rather than scrolling through um, these uh, units. So we'll keep it down to that. Um, for example, 42, and we'll click through. Likewise, again, we've got the input uh, default omit um, options, which we'll keep as input. And we can go through and you can change the activity level. If you're dealing with just um, athletes, you can click that uh, very high option. Uh, it just saves you from scrolling through each time for the, for, for the measurements. And likewise, uh, through all the parameters, so waist, hip, metabolic rates, you have the option of changing the, to kilojoules or kilocalories. Uh, fat percentage, you have the option of having this displayed or not. Um, likewise, fat weight, if you're only interested in the percentage, you can have this turned on, turned off. Um, your lean percentage as well, if you're not interested in the percentage, you can have that turned off. Um, likewise with the weight and total body weight, your dry lean weight and your and all your hydration options if you've had this turned on. So your total body water percentage, again in litres uh, and as a percentage of extracellular water and your intracellular water. So you can go through and then you've got your body cell mass, third space water, nu nutrition index and your prediction marker. Now this is useful, sometimes um, people are only interested in looking at the prediction marker. So you can have every other uh, screen turned off and it only showing the prediction marker will just help you avoid having to scroll through right till the end to get the prediction marker. So you can have that option of turning that one on or off. Uh, your basal metabolic rates, likewise estimated um, average requirements and your BMI and all your indexes as well and your waist to hip ratio. Now we've got the raw data so, um, so if, you, if it is of interest to you just to look at the raw data uh, we have the option of just turning off all the other screens and you can just look at your impedance at the 5 um, kilohertz, the 50, 100 and 200. So you can have the option, or likewise if you're not interested in any of the raw data and you're just interested in the values, you can uh, have these screens turned off. So we'll go through and that's the impedance at the 50, 100 and 200. We've got the resistance at 50 and the reactance at 50 and of course your phase angle. Um, so you can have that um, turned on or turned off and likewise if you're only interested in phase angle for nutritional status for example you can just have that uh, display as your only uh, measurement display unit. So we'll click through. At the moment we don't have a printer enabled. Uh, I will in another video explain how to pair a printer uh, but at the moment we'll go no. Uh, it's very important not to pass this screen because this screen will save all your parameters. So installation complete, just click up saying yes and enter again just to press uh, saved and your parameters have all been stored and it will click you through to the next test and you're ready to go. Uh, if you do need to change anything or if you've clicked past a screen by accident, turn it off and click the on up arrow, click on and wait for that installation screen to come up again and you can go through and make your amendments.